Hi, welcome back to another video talking about the H2B visa and how to get a driver's license while on this visa. Most important thing to know is that to get a driver's license, you need to have at least six months valid still on your visa. Now, coming over, your contract, your visa probably ends in eight months. So it's really important to get the ball rolling almost immediately once you have some of the most important required pieces of paperwork, which will include your social security number and also proof of address. So you need to always think of how to have proof of address because most likely your um, company has found housing for you. You're, you may not have a document that has proof of address right away. So something you can do is think of how you can get proof of address. Um, maybe you can get something mailed to you in that address um, when you move in there pretty soon. Like maybe you wanna, um, maybe you open up a bank account. For example, you go to Chase, you open up a Chase bank account and you have your address on that, that's proof of address. Or if you um, need to get your phone plan, most likely you'll need a phone plan, you can get a proof of address you can get mail sent to you. So find out some sort of way that you can bring a proof of your address, um, might even be on some of your employment documents, you'll find that. Next thing is social security number. Now this um, you should get pretty soon after you're arriving here as well, we'll make sure that it is signed as well. Um, so you'll bring that with you. There also is a couple of other requirements um, which you are gonna bring, but those two um, you're really gonna um, need to make sure that you have. Um, now you will then want to move quite quickly because you do have a limited amount of time. So if you need to do your permit tests, maybe you need to start studying, you can download an app, you can get a book, you can study whichever way you prefer, but you are under time pressure. Please remember we still need eight months on our visa, not only for the permit test, but also for the driver's license, which is going to come after that. So you know, to pass the test, you need to have, um, I think you can only get like three or four, something small amount of questions wrong anyway, but it's really, in my opinion, not that hard of a test to do anyway. So just study it as much as you can. And then um, after that, you will get your permit. Um, I got mine on the same day. So depending on which DMV you go to, you can actually get it on the same day. So I'd look into that and go to one that you can get it on the same day. And that doesn't have to be mailed to you just to um, you know, shorten that time frame of getting everything ready for you. Then next most important thing is to make sure that you have somewhere for driver li driver's lessons that you can do a couple of lessons. Um, for me, I took, um, when I done my driver's lessons, I took about six weeks of lessons. Um, I did, I think, 12 hours of lessons in total, and then I added on an extra two. So 14 was actually my total amount of lessons that I chose to do. Um, and then I um, hired someone before my test to help me do a practice text, a test exam for 30 minutes and then do my test. My opinion, test is not that difficult. It does ask you to do parallel parking, drive around on the road a little, um, make sure you know how to operate and work the car, making sure you are checking out the mirrors, have um, you know some good habits um, around driving. It only took about 15 minutes for me to do my exam. Um, and then, you know, I knew right away that I passed, but all this is important to make sure and remember we still need at least six months left on our visa to do all that. So you're probably gonna have to do all that in a quite short amount of time. Then you can go ahead and take your test, done, next step, H have your car or drive your car or wait for the documents that you need and off you go. Hope this video was helpful, encourages you to um, go through your driving process while on your work visa and look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Leave any questions or comments down below. Bye for now.